Uh, Gary, thanks for the video response. I uh, like to comment on that. Um, I've mentioned to other people that uh, uh, you can get quite abusive in your videos uh, towards me and towards other people and things like that. And I say, well, look, I don't really get all that upset about that because I assume that you actually mean what you say in the videos, even if you say it with a nasty edge to it. Um, you know, even even the anger and the the opprobrium, I suppose, I always assume is honestly felt, and that really enables one to, to sort of put that kind of thing in perspective, and it's not really all that difficult, uh, when you look at it that way, to deal with it and to listen to someone talking to you like that. Assume that the person means what they say, <clears throat> that it's just an honest expression of what someone else thinks of you. Even if someone says you are a fucking asshole, sometimes it does one good to just sit back and sort of think, this person sincerely believes I am a fucking asshole. Now that's an interesting way to look at, you know, uh, negative <laughs> uh, evaluation of oneself. Someone else insulting you, but don't take it as an insult, just take it as a negative evaluation that they honestly believe. <clears throat> so, this is what I'm going to say about your video, and it's not really an accusation. Uh, I won't ask you to take my words concerning you in the same vein as um, I take your words concerning me, but, I, you know, if you want to really understand how this video is meant, I would suggest that you do this. What I see this video as, this selfish is bad, okay? is one of the most effective and all-embracing case of the deliberate application of existential guilt that I have ever seen. It's the distilled essence of an existential guilt trip. Um, I don't think that it's... Um, I don't think one can get more guilt trippy over uh, someone than just assuming that somebody else is selfish and bad and everything and should feel you know bad or uh, excessive amounts of guilt or whatever um, for doing what most of us assume is just what human beings do without meaning any harm at all um, you know there's so many shoulds in what you say about us all about the human race and I presume this applies to yourself as well um, that you create an edifice of guilt that I think that it's pretty much impossible to escape from. But again, I assume that it's sincerely felt that you actually think this way about the human race, about um, what you call human selfishness, and not caring about the other person enough, not thinking about other people enough. As I say, um, I come from a background with, it's just laden with, guilt trips and deliberately screwing with people's heads um, and the people who actually are screwing with people's heads may do so in the sincere belief that they're actually helping the people whose heads they're screwing with I don't know um, <clears throat> but I do believe that a certain amount of guilt is toxic the, too much of anything is not a good thing um, some guilt is good some guilt means that you've got a conscience but um, the harping on the other person's selfishness how selfish the other guy is, is one of the classic ways in which you deliberately inflict guilt. Quit thinking of yourself. You're only thinking of yourself. Only, oh, It's just you, you, you. That's all that this means. It's all about you. Everything is about you, 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 you. And the logic of that kind of thing is hard to actually um, escape from. And you end up just sort of saying, okay, I'm just going to discount what this person says. Either that, or you sort of counterattack and you start insulting the other person. Sort of saying, look, I, I, have, I don't have to listen to this crap from you, or whatever. Or you just walk away from that person. Uh, this is just sort of an analysis of the general gist of, um, of this video and the whole idea that, uh, the whole emphasis that you bring to bear on the idea of selfishness. I'm not making a case for selfishness, but excessive, being excessively opposed to human selfishness is not a good thing. Being excessively opposed to anything is not a good thing. That's what excess means, right? So, okay, we're selfish. Uh, we seem to be selfish as entities. Okay, uh, being excessively selfish isn't a good thing. 
um, being excessively opposed to even our own selfishness is not a good thing because that's toxic guilt, excess. Um, so that's what I get out of the video that you appended to my video. Um, just massive guilt. Um, probably sincerely felt on your part. Um, but I do believe, as I say, that that level of guilt, that level, and, and as I say, this isn't just guilt in terms of what people are doing. This is existential guilt. If, if we attempt to evade the type of guilt that you're implying actually is out there, we would have to cease to be human beings, which, in a, in a way, I suppose, that's what you're suggesting we do. Um, which is fine, you know, if that's if that's your opinion of how we actually are to exist as entities in this life, if this is the idea of a life, um, okay, then I suggest, and, and you know, I presume that you actually are living that life, the, the, the sort of point of view that you espouse. I don't see any evidence that you're not. Um, but <clears throat> I would say, however, that within the boundaries of the human condition, I would say that it's all very well to set the bar as high as you set it in terms of our ability to live up to whatever standards we you know, exist out there as human beings. Based upon uh, the fact that we are human beings, I don't think that you're likely to, um, you're likely to actually get many people to cotton on to the point of view that you're espousing. I think that most people are going to say the, the, the point of view that you are actually espousing, however sincerely and however well thought out, is at the end of the day um, not uh, one that they are going to listen to. Now, um, again, don't let that discourage you. I, From your track record, I don't think you get discouraged very easily. But as I say, um, your message is, whether it's meant to or not, is laden with and a, a level of guilt that, in my honest opinion, this is not an insult, but in my honest opinion, is uh, verging on the uh, the psychotic. <laughs> Sorry, but that's how I see it. <laughs>